Hello everybody, I'm Miss Bessie Bear Blessing. If you're new to my channel, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and comment. This is a reading for my fire signs. If you are a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries individual, then this reading is for you. Today is May 26, 2021. You guys, I hope you're feeling well. With that being said, we're going to get into this reading, okay? Uh, that being said, here we go. Some of you could definitely be dealing with an earth sign individual. It could be a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus individual. Or some of you could definitely be in that energy where you're working extremely hard um, to manifest some finances to come into your life. Because I feel as though your ships is definitely coming in on a rising. You've been using your intuition, and that's a great thing. I do see victory. I see success for you in regard to a lover's relationship. I also see you planting seeds for prosperity and growth here. And I see you receiving a gift here as well. Okay, somebody's giving you a gift. Some of you are definitely your mind, though. You keep thinking about something else because you got a lot of other things going on. But you're going to receive a gift. Be open to receiving it. You could be dealing with a sad, mm -mm, Scorpio individual. <laughs> um, I feel like your life is definitely transforming. Endings with new beginnings coming. I see here the star card is the Aquarius card out there every day. It's a balancing out card too. It's also a wish fulfillment card. It talks about recognition or receiving recognition in regard to some things too. Your third eye is definitely open. And with the sun card is a Leo card out there every day. Um, yeah, happiness is coming your way. You just got to keep it moving in regard to something. Yes, it's been, for some of you, been carrying a heavy load for a very long time. Possibly in regard to keeping a secret. Somebody's keeping a secret here and it's wearing heavy on their heart here is what this message is saying to me. Um, anything that's done in the dark, any secrets that you keep will definitely come to the light eventually. So that's why, but somebody's done with heartache and pain or they're disappointed in regard to something. But I feel like... <laughs> Yeah, it's some type of secret. All right, so we have the Ten of Cups here. Emotional fulfillment and happiness is what you seek. Being very creative is a good thing as well. Your creativity is very high. You're going to um, open up doors with an opportunity for prosperity and growth. You're going to be birthing out some new exciting things here with the Empress card. And somebody definitely could be having a baby. Um, There's a partnership here that's definitely flowing well. The energy is great between these two individuals. I do feel like you're going to have to walk away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. Um, and doing, and then, or this could have already happened because you walked away from somebody that caused a tower moment for somebody. And it could be somebody from your past and now they're feeling stuck is what I'm getting from this message as well. Okay, so they're feeling some type of way in regard to that, but it's something they got to work out. I feel like you've been defending yourself against others for a very long time. A lot of people are coming up against you, but you zen the fuck out. You don't even give a damn. Let them keep coming because whatever thing they throw is going to go back to themselves. Um, you're very guarded at this time, or somebody's very guarded in a sense. You could be dealing with the Scorpio, Kings of Pisces individual. They could be coming toward you with some flowers, red roses. They're very passionate about you is what the card is saying. Um, I see blessings coming in with the nine of pentacles. So this is you in definitely your energy, fire signs, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. You're very much a great manifestor because you come from the fire element. Fire is a great element to manifest things, okay? You're working extremely hard here, honing in your, having your skill, doing what you need to do in order to get to where you need to be. Bringing in finance, I see financial growth for a lot of you guys, but yet I feel like you're to yourself and you're thinking too. Yeah, when you get to yourself, you think a lot, you come up with the answers that you need. And sometimes you need that alone time, you know, just to close out the world and um, get with yourself sometime. You know what I'm saying? Figure some things out on your own. You come up with the best answers like that. Speaking to your spirit guides and angels and ancestors, and they will help you to get through whatever it is that's going on. So that's a great thing. They say stand in your strength and trust and believe in yourself. This is the Leo card too out there every day. Stand in your strength, trust and believe in yourself with the temperance card, the Sagittarius card. Things will balance off of you and get ready for these changes that's going to be taking place within your world. Get ready. It's a great thing. All right, fire signs. Well, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Uh, remember, I'm supposed to be a blessing. If you like your own personal reading with me, call me at 347-227-5723. <laughs> With that being said, talk to you later.